there you go guys just a little video I'm doing uh, we're replacing some stumps and uh, these are stumps uh, you can see I'm lying down here here I am here's me headed there okay so yeah hello uh, enough room just for me to get crawl around lay down all my tools in the bucket <laughs> Placing a few stumps, about 12 stumps, 10, 12 stumps up here. And uh, yeah, it's under a house with a tile roof, metal stumps, steel stumps, so galvanized ones. That's a Durigal. And they're about 10, 12 years old. And they're rusted off completely. I'll have to make another video later when, uh, next time I'm here with some of them because they some of them I can put my fist clear underneath them. Uh, through them because there is no post there anymore. Where's this one? It's too close. Uh, there we are. Hard to see this. That's the top. I've cut 50 mil off off the original because I needed that top plate. So I don't. I don't have the ability under here to put new top plates in and redrill them and everything else. So I'm using the original bolts, using the original top plate uh, for ease and for make it easy for me to. Reuse the top plate. I'm cutting about 50 mil off the post, which is still in good nick. Because uh, the first foot or so of the post is okay. From there on, it's that. And uh, then I'm replacing with a post I've made, uh, which has got uh, well, I've got tar on it now. That's a two-pack epoxy over the post, and then tarred. Okay, and. Uh, this one, as you can see around here, if you I'll try and show you, see all the dirt? There was about four inches of dirt over the top of the post, or around the post, over the top of the pier. That's that's the pier there, where the post is sitting on. And if you can, you can just see the original post there, which cut just to the side of it. And uh, yeah, there was four inches of dirt over the top of that pier. And. Uh, yeah, it didn't treat the post very good at all because they didn't treat it with it, they didn't paint it, no tar, and they didn't even dome it. All they did was just put them in, lay them flat, and build on top once they had them in. And of course, they all rusted off because they all got wet, it stayed wet because of wet dirt. This is all wet idea, has been for, for years. So the moisture is just, you know, canning these posts. So the only choice is that we're going to replace them, which is quite expensive for them. And uh, I've done so far today three posts. It's four, four nearly 4.30 in the afternoon. We've been here since 8 o'clock this morning. And I've done three posts. So yeah, it's taking some time. I've got my son as a runner getting all the materials and whatever else I need. And uh, yeah, I've got a cut these out, take them outside, make the post up and bring them back in and fit them, which takes a bit of time. And of course it is hard to get out. <laughs> Once I get out I really want to stay there. I've got to crawl over pipes, under pipes, under bearers, on my belly half the way. But that's the job. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you that. I'll show you some more. I'll do another video uh, when I'm here next. So, uh, just to show you what goes on. Uh, we've got to get right up. There's another bearer lined further up there. The, light, the end of the house, which is uh, in worse shape than the ones I'm on now. This row, this row over here, I'm replacing almost every stump in it. I've only got to replace two in the stump in the row behind me. I've already done one. This is my second one in this row. And I've got to replace every one in that one up the front there, up the back rather. The last one. And they're the hardest to get to because some of them are only four inches high. So, a bit of fun to replace those. And then, of course, next week when we come back, I've got to dome these. So, we've got to put some domes around them to stop the water from getting around. The, like the epoxy and the uh, tar should stop most of the problem. But yeah, to stop the uh, dirt sitting around them and making them giving it a problem later in years to come. We've got to put a concrete uh, 
dome around them so we'll be doing that next week and uh, yeah my labourers will enjoy crawling under here with the concrete okay I'll catch you again soon talk to you later bye